is Iris Spears. I am 17 today. My mother had me at Parkland Hospital at 11.30 p.m. My mother won't be here for my birthday. This summer, she's in San Antonio, Texas, taking a managerial course so she can pay for my tuition at Southern Methodist University come next year. Of course, I could apply for scholarships. My grades are good, except for the B minus Miss Plum gave me in English last semester. She took off points for penmanship and style. Sometimes I write so fast trying to keep up with what's in my head. I offered to type it for a better grade. Couldn't understand why she would take so much off for that if the story was good. And if I could type it or rewrite it more slowly, if she would change my grade. But she said the grade would stand. Even though up till then, I had a 4.0. I couldn't understand why she wouldn't let me do it over again if that was all that stood between a B minus and a perfect grade. She refused. She said the writing was not my own. I told her I didn't copy it from anybody else. I worked on it really hard by myself. She said, I haven't found my own voice. Like I have misplaced it. How do I, where do I find it? My own voice. What does that mean, I asked. She said, sometimes you learn more from not being perfect, and that's life. She said it like, and that's the lesson for you, Missy, with a tinge of animosity rather than altruism. That I don't understand. I'm sure there are worse things than getting a B minus, but still, this summer, I write every day trying to, to, to find, to capture it and pin it down on paper. I like to write because <laughs> I just like it. <laughs> On becoming what I want to be. That's the title for now. This summer, I awoke to a sound. Pancakes of being 17. And you were never 17. You were born a 40-year-old woman. Ain't 
you need to put some clothes on your nakedness. Yeah, I'm grown. <laughs> Only 19 years old. Well, I feel old today. Staying out late nights, dragging in time. You need to get yourself a job. Your cousin got a job? Start next week at the Hampton Wild. Arts and crafts, they still hiring. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just working, and I told you, you should come on and apply down at the Adolphus. We can ride in together. I don't want to be no cook at the Adolphus Hotel. Your grandma Violet worked there most of her life. Well, that kind of work leads to an early grade. Asthma? Well, that's what Grandpa always said. Take the lemons life gives you and make lemonade. That's what Grandma Violet always says. Well, I don't like lemonade. No matter how much sugar you put in, it still tastes bitter to me. Look, I'm just working down there until the position opens at the post office. You know, my paperwork that already went through. Selling stamps. It takes a high school diploma to sell stamps, Missy. Well, it doesn't take a high school diploma to be a choreographer. Right out. Mm-hmm. Many great people were autodidacts, from Socrates to David Bowie, Benjamin Franklin to Malcolm X. You hear that, Mom? Frank Zappa said, Trump, at school, before your mind, rocks from our mediocre educational school system. Uh-huh. <laughs> what I thought I had all this time was a lazy hussy that dropped out of high school because she got a hot tail knocked up. Yeah, but what I got is an auto in. Ain't got no job and no place to call your own. Well, I got punished for what happened, right? Jasmine. Died the same day she was born. Jasmine, I didn't mean it. Jasmine, you are going to work at the Y with me this summer, right? Yeah. Then, after I graduate, we're going to move to New York City, where I'm going to become a famous author, and you're going to be a famous dancer. And a choreographer? Mm -hmm. You can join the Dance Theater of Harlem or Alvin Ailey. That's what Miss Williams said at the Black Dance Academy. Certainly good enough, she said. And Jasmine placed first at the West Dallas County competition just last week, ain't Daisy? You should have seen her. You know I work at nights. She's placed in every competition she's entered. Wait till you see me dancing on TV one day. You just wait till you see me on Soul Train, Ma! And you're gonna be, oh, that's my daughter. I always knew she could, deep down she could. And when I'm dancing with Alvin Ailey and touring with the Dance Theater of Harlem, why well, I'm gonna fly you up first class to New York City to my dealer's apartment in the sky. And the dog is gonna say, who are you? And I'll say, Jane, this is my mother. Let her enter. And the butler will take your coat and the maid will pop up on the champagne, Ma. Girl, you out your mind. And you, you're gonna drop down and say, oh, forgive me, my daughter. My eyes are now open and now I see. Now I know you out your ever loving mind. <laughs> Alice, you got mail. <clears throat> your mama sent it to me and said to give it to you today. Happy birthday from your mom. Ooh, how much money is that? said for you to take that money and buy yourself something you like. Hmm? She said to give you both a hug. <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> I'm making you your so suck it to me kick this morning. Mm, you know how much I love your cakes, ain't Daisy? You got time to be baking folks' cakes, Mom? Well, I just make time. Just got to mix up the batter, pull it in the pan. Rose told me to take good care of her angel while she was away this summer. Said to take good care of her house 
and to take care of her little girl just like my very own. <laughs> like your own? Yeah, I'll get all the workouts I wouldn't miss up. And I'll be back by 2 a.m. 2 30. I'm locking the door and going to sleep. And Jasmine, even if you are staying over here with me tonight, you better make your daddy and your brothers the dinner tonight. Now he'll be over after work to pick it up. Don't you forget today. You know this is all that I ask you to do. So don't you forget today. She won't forget. And don't you be faking about making them no sandwiches for dinner either. You know Ray Earl don't eat no sandwiches for dinner. You know what he wants, that's what you make. Ain't he a grown man? How do you make his own dinner? Cause maybe the grown man don't wanna be coming home cooking after he done work extra shifts to make money to feed other people. And cause maybe if you try to treat him decently sometimes, he might let you move your grown behind back into the house. And you best try to find some place to go once Rose gets back here. Anyway, I'm getting a job with Iris by the end of the month and I have my own place. Well, in the meantime, here's some bus fare and some walking change. And you know that's all I ask you to do, dog. Well, why don't you never ask the boys to cook? Just my, I don't have time for you this morning. Ma, I cook the dinner and I'll bake Iris her cake. Good. Catfish is thawing in the sink. And the recipes are on the fridge. Hey, Daisy, how old were you when you first heard the cicadas? Mm -hmm. I don't know. About, I was six years old, back when we lived in the country and waxed a hatch on that farm. Yeah. Me, plucked to the ground, and then my mama, as they were coming up with the feet first, she said, jaw flies. <laughs> but why? Uh, why she say it? Why I say it? It just is, and that's enough for me. Yo, you ask questions too old for someone so young. <laughs> Child, when I was your age. But when I was your age, when I was your age, <laughs> you just hold on to this day. All Just, please. 
promise, cuz. You won't break the word. Okay. Who's gonna move to New York with me if you're sitting up in somebody's jail? You join, right? Same blood? Right. <laughs> See, cuz, I mean, okay. I figure if I just sell a little weed and we're gonna be working at the Y, right? Maybe I can move and get my own place and get out of here by the end of the year. But what about me? The plan was after I graduate, I go to Southern Methodist University. Look, and Iris, that's too long. I mean, besides, what do you need high school for anyway? You said yourself. Mom would kill me. You said Benjamin Franklin. Uh, I, I, I can't miss my senior year. Iris, it's no big deal. What's the big deal? Why are you in such a hurry? What if I go to school in New York? But what if I just go by myself? Oh, it's just one more year. You can work at the Y. Uh, enter some contests that have cash prizes. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting my next story into a contest. How much money would you make? First year's full tuition plus room and board. Enough for us to get an apartment together down in the village. The village? Mm -hmm. That's where New York University is. Or we can live uptown Harlem if I get into Columbia. <laughs> you talk like you already been. Hmm. You know I've never been outside of Dallas. But I know books, movies, Street by street. I know that's where I'll live someday. In some cultures, they say speaking a thought becomes action. So that what you speak is then real. Oh, you still believe in fairy tales. Let's see.
Cutting yards is all right. The smell of fresh cut grass, the sun. You look at that too. What kind of car is that out in your backyard? <laughs>
people. Always have your head in some book. Where's Jasmine? They let me off early in the morning. Came by to pick up dinner. Where's that girl? She, she left. Where is she? she? I think she went up the street. She say when she be back. No, sir. You never know what to expect with that one. I know she talks about me bad. She talks about me bad. She tell you what happened. And Daisy said y'all disagree. You want to Jasmine disagrees, so you had to leave. That's what Daisy said. Jasmine tell you she wants to be out all hours of the night and nobody knows where she's gone or who she's with. Last time she left for three days, gone. Y'all, Daisy is likely to have a stroke word on her. Can't let her drive me to her, let her go on and be grown in her own house. That's what I told her. Mother broke her mother's heart. She's good at breaking hearts. Yeah, that's her. She'll be back. She'll come back to the world of those who know. Told her she'd come back. Once she changes her attitude, that's all she has to do. Change her attitude. See, you understand. Your mother never had no problems with you, right? Rose did good with you all on her own. You never broke your mother's heart. Never broken nobody's heart, that. No, sir. Sometimes I think the girl was born to torment me. Me, the only father she's ever known. I do all the work and get all the blame. No respect. Sometimes the world, no matter how hard you try, as good intentioned as you may be, as hard as you may work, still you come home to an empty plate and heartburn. What's that commercial? Blah, blah, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Some days the only relief a man can get when he gets home after working two shifts in that dang bread factory is a glass of alcohol. Sometimes all a man can do is retreat to his toilet, his only throne, lock the door, and fart. Now, how can that be that Putin is sometimes a highlight to a man's day? Sometimes it's the little pleasures that go a long way. Oh, you are all right, Uncle Rero. You want some water? Dr. Pepper. Ah, Dr. Pepper, coming up. Thank you, Bird. Oh, I may as well cook. Um, you don't have to. I'll stop by McDonald's on the way home. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, that's kind of you. But I don't like black and catfish. <laughs> People call it black and hide the fact that it's burnt. <laughs> Jasmine's always serving black and crab cakes, black and chicken, black and mashed potato. It's all about the temperature of the grease. Daisy puts a dash of hot sauce. <laughs> I know. And she rolls it in cornmeal, seasoned with salt and pepper. Do tell. Hey, Daisy left the recipe. I married that woman for her cooking, you know? She may dispute that. She thinks it was her mm, other talents that mesmerized me. I swear, the first time that woman cooked for me, I cleaned out all her pots. Knew I'd never be satisfied eating from nobody's place but hers from then on. We've had our ups and downs over the years, but the thought of that woman smothered pork chops and doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. I crawled back to that woman on my knees. <laughs> so that's the secret to a man's heart. Yes, that and respect. When a woman respects herself, a man has no choice but to respect her back. When I first started dating, that's what I noticed, how she keeps her house clean, keeps herself up, nothing out of place. And even on the dance floor, you know, your Aunt Daisy can shake it, but she don't try to break nothing. She can sweat, but she don't get ugly. <laughs> you know, she rarely drinks and never smokes. You see, your Aunt Daisy knows that that's how she keeps me in line, by drawing her own lines. That's why I respect her, honor her. That and her fall off the bone barbecue show, girl. I was a hollow man before I met her. You are all right, Uncle Ray Earl. Well, I'm just telling you what everyone should know. I know your mama done good and raised me, but I'm speaking to you as I would to my own daughter, though I've talked to Jasmine till I'm blue in the face. She went behind the school with Jack. 
What? That's what Jasmine is now. In the back of the school with Jack Reynolds. He been coming up lately to study. I thought he and I, I, I thought, aren't you gonna go get him? I'm sure they're probably still there. And what do you think they're doing, baby? You know what they doing. And what am I supposed to do? Get them to stop. Jasmine is too old for me to tell her a thing. You're not gonna do anything? If Aunt Daisy Your knows? Aunt Daisy has enough words on her head. You like this boy? I bet he's good looking, right? He plays basketball. He'll be all state next year. He, he's smart. He just doesn't like to study much. He knows what he wants. And that's what he focuses on. Oh, you should see him on the court. Yeah, I used to play her for me. Show me too. He can fly. Beautiful. Hmm. Boy like that has all kinds of girls throwing themselves at him all the time. He gets tired of that real quick. Boy like that wants something different. Somebody he can respect. Somebody who respects him. It's more complicated than that. All he is is a boy doing what boys do. You give him a minute, he'll come knocking on your door again, and then it's up to you how you want things to go, right? Right. Happy birthday, bird! What's this, Uncle Ray? You're going to draw your own lines in this world. I just want you to know. Uncle Ray Earl, I don't care what Jasmine says. You are all right with me. What'd she say?
care of you. Or maybe I'll get tired of him. Well, last the You summer. never had him and he never will. Anything about well, you. You want to know why he went with me? He's just using you. He wanted a woman and not some little bug. That's you. You know. 
never believed me.
right after work. And what's God in the you? Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's that I smell in that kitchen, wife? What I cook every Sunday. Pancakes. You know I love your pancakes. Don't fight. You look like my oh, wife. Ooh, go on now, man. And where are my boys at this morning? Now, they went by the creek early to go fishing. Told them I wanted their mother's catfish for dinner tonight. You don't you clean, though. Done. Told them not to come back without some fresh catfish. Last time they went by the store and bought some, talking about they fresh cotton still frozen inside. <laughs> <laughs> Iris! Iris, what? What's wrong, Iris? You want to answer people when they now, speak to Daisy? you? I'm just saying. Shh. Oh, Iris, I just put that color down in my front yard. I'm 
begonias and my daffodils just ruined. I it. don't Why? like the rain. Oh, it's been so dry this season, girl. We needed the rain. We <laughs> beating everything down uh, to the ground. You know, I'm stronger, I guess, for the weather. Yeah, child, rain ain't no good for nobody. Weather keeps you humble. Remember that tornado? That must have been five, six. When that lightning struck the frying pan. When? You were pressing my hair in the kitchen stove. <laughs> wow, what, what was that? That lightning hit, we went for the door. You took me by the hand, I ran as fast as I could. I don't remember that. You were grabbed me by the hand, and I knew it was all going to be all right. Sweet out running. Some things you can't <laughs> We made it to Grandma's house, safe. Grandma by. Oh God, bless her soul. Oh, she's never. Oh, yeah. It'll tore them old projects down now. Townhomes, waterfront property. We uh, we all sat in the hallway at Grandma Vi's house with candles. You, me, ain't Daisy. Yeah, my naughty head bunch, Vincent <laughs> Junior, Jasmine, and Sylvester. Ain't Lily, ain't Petunia, Des. <laughs> And, and ain't Daisy, you would tell a scary ghost story. Yeah, bloody black bones. <laughs> <laughs> and we screamed. Bloody black bones! <laughs> screamed our heads off. Yeah, why you want to go and scare the children like that? <laughs> Keep the minds off the fear of, uh, uh, of the root tearing away and then the storm pulling them up into the vortex. <laughs> Lost forever. <laughs> Safe. Grandma's sofa. I remember when I used to have to climb up and to sit down on it. I always kept it covered in plastic. Yeah. She took that plastic off mm. Christmas, Thanksgiving, That's and Easter. That's I always did like the sofa system. You got a china dishes and a china cabinet. Mm. You got the silver and the bedroom set. Daddy had made this cabinet. Yeah, mm. they were hot. Sister. Mm. <laughs> you know I was his favorite. Baby, so. You know Daddy loved this boy as the best. My writer should have been mine. <laughs> I was his favorite girl. Oh, is that how you were calling? Nothing changes here. I made it home. <laughs> where, where are the batteries? Did you get the batteries? Did you ask me to get the batteries? For the flashlight days. <laughs> and for the radio, I asked you. Well, they must be where you put them. Did you remember to take your medication? Yes! <laughs> Daisy May. Daisy May and me. Why well, gotta be my fault or something where you put it on? I'm sorry I uh, missed the party, Mama. Oh, you're here? I have to get back tomorrow. You just got here. Now that's all right. A new assignment. I leave for the evening for New York. I'll be in Madrid by the end of the week. Spain? Oh, my baby girl! <laughs>
you gonna tell them? Ain't nothing to talk about. You know, something tomorrow. I just want to test. Mm. I'm fine. As a matter of fact, I feel 10 years younger. <laughs> that must have been dipping in my medication. <laughs> <laughs> Because delusional is what you are. Uh, yeah, we ain't no spring chickens, sister love. Age ain't nothing but a number. It is a state of mind. Yeah, well, you must be in a state of denial. Because <laughs> my aches and pains got aches and pains. <laughs> and that's because I'm old. Whew. Look, I'm here for you, sister. You know that because you were there for me. I'm fine. Well, you know your girl don't look like herself. Well, you heard, you're keeping her busy. Frank always comes with her. She said Frank couldn't make it. Thought that girl would ever get married. <laughs> yeah, I taught her to stand on her own mind. Yes. <laughs> and me three husbands. <laughs> I'm always. Always been open to the prospect of everlasting love. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? <laughs> God's love is everlasting. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, Miss <laughs> Rose Elizabeth Spears. <laughs> you remember, Iris's daddy had you calling out God's name. <laughs> you, you, you are straight up laughing and fool. <laughs> Ooh, you know it's the truth. You ain't had nobody since. That's why daddy never cared for you much, because you don't know when to stop. What's past is done. And we must continue. That's <laughs> Yeah. That's what mama used to always say. You're not alone. I'm here for you, sister. I'm done. You go take these pills and heat up some food for she who's up there. <laughs> yeah, you need to tell her something before she get back on that plane. She act like she can't wait to get back. Oh, oh. mine has a job she loves that she's good at and she published. <laughs> and mine will screw ups? Mm. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> some people's children come around once a year if that. Mine come by every month at least. And I don't mean at the top of the month when the check come in. <laughs> it come other times too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I got all of my grandchildren. You got lots of beautiful grandbabies. <laughs> Most of whom were here today trying to tear up my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was a good turnout. Oh, yes, it was, sister. Oh, wasn't it good to see all of us? All join here together. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to play my piano. I'm going to work in my yard. Like you do every day. Mm. Then I'll go on and I'll go see those doctors. And then I'm going to Neiman Marcus to go shopping with my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, I taught myself to play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs> yeah, if you 
you didn't know what to do with him, I was thinking I could sure figure out what to do with him. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that first time you brought him home. <laughs> but you think you wasn't going to ever get married. I like my independence. Did break up with me. When? How your mama raised you? That's on her. He treated you right, didn't he? Didn't lay no hands on you, did he? No. Frank and I Frank and I divorced. I didn't ask for anything. I, I have my own. I don't need a thing. Well, are you sure? It's, it's done. Well, that's that. Mama, <laughs> I just needed to get home. Not one to you. You hear me? There's no need for any of that. Life is what you make it out of. Done is in the past, and you'll be all right.
you had a full track and field scholarship handed to you, and all you wanted to do was get married and have children. All right, Miss Immaculate Conception. Oh, the girl can still go and get a GED. Oh, she likes getting drunk too much to do something like that. I messed up. That's right. I messed up. Oh. I ain't like you. Oh, don't be mad at me. Because I ain't like you. I haven't said a word, Jazz. You don't know. Oh, Mama believed in me. She could be. My mother is a rock. I wanted to be a dancer. Hey! <laughs> Rose! She said I can do just that. That's right, baby. She said I can be a singer too. Oh, a voice like an angel singing up in that quiet. Oh, I come down to my road. Because you love me. I rode. Maybe. I would have had a better chance in this world, ain't it? A better chance in this world! You think you deserve a better mother? I was sober for two years. I kept a job working with them old folks, all them old folks. Deb tell you about that? I heard. Heard. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? Cause. See, you you still mad at me? Cause I ain't been able to pay you back from the last. Nothing 
changes here. <laughs> what? With me? You can never even... Your tone. It's just that I come home. My husband left me. And all you have for me is a pat on the back and what's past is done. What? Her, she comes in all hot. You can always. What? But with your own daughter. Well, didn't you, you tell me you were all right? Didn't you tell me you didn't need anything? What? what? You can't waltz up in here. I'm getting married. No discussion. Now you waltz in here. I'm getting a divorce. Nothing leading up to it. What you want me to do, girl? What you want me to say? That's right. Speak it out. Get it out. What? Nothing. Didn't you say I don't need anything? Nothing. Right? What? Um, Come on. What have I, I done for out. you? What? What? Where are the batteries? Be careful, sister. Mama. Huh. 
just because nobody read the book doesn't mean you had to stop. I should stop altogether. I'm waiting for a sound, a, a new voice in my head. You hear voices in your head when you're on that? No. <laughs> People in my books, their voices. My first five books, they all sound the same. People like those books. What, 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 what has to happen for that, for that voice to change? A new experience or a new perspective on old experiences. It just hasn't come yet. It's where I connect. Channeling works to page. It's a dry spell. Uh, I never expected you to give up. I'm waiting. Let me try. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> now wait, wait, if you dig it too deep, dig something. And if you don't dig it deep enough, it'll wash away with the rain. A ruthless thing is blowing in the wind, lost. <laughs> Gladys 
started out as a top two. These favorites. These were my mother's favorite. Started out with just two little bugs. Like they grow in clusters and they separate them in the season. And now they feel good. It's out here, Iris, that I can hear my mother's voices and the other voices just layering on top of her. She's on and on. So you hear voices too? Wrong fast one. Iris, you never wanted to know. Some things you never favored me at all. Like college. <laughs> you didn't need a scholarship, cash. Then what? You didn't you didn't graduate? You didn't walk because you a professor made you mad. So you was gonna show him and you didn't walk across the stage. I didn't know how much it meant to you. Please, I just don't. I don't blame you for not ever wanting to be nobody's mom. What if I don't go to New York? What what if I postpone my trip? I don't need you to do that. I got ready to take some you oh, don't have to do that. I want to. And what about your husband? That's over. A three-year marriage. Three long years. Three long years? How long do you think you're going to be postponing your trip? Where's my hair right I I'll get, I'll get it. No, I don't need you to. I got it. Well, look, I got Daisy and my other sister. I got my brothers and theirs, and I'll be fine. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. But you, you need to go back to where you came from. And you need to go and tend to you and to yours. Plant a fig tree. 
No big deal in plant something. Dig a hole and stick it in. How hard can it be? She come home from the hospital. She'll sit out here on the patio. Look at my tree. It's in front of the fountain. <laughs> It's blocking your mama's fountain. You gotta walk around the tree to see it. And you know your mama not gonna like that. You know how much she like that fountain? I got that fountain seven years ago. <laughs> a pineapple. Yeah, I would have got a, a, a swan or one of them cherubs pouring water out of a bucket or something like that. She likes my pineapple. You just said so. Yeah, you want to give it all your fine presents. And turn around and go back out again. We'll go to the store and get some biscuits. Making your mama some chicken and dumplings when she get back to church this evening. Yeah, I gotta go to the store and get some biscuits for the dumplings. She loves the way I make it. She likes to have chicken and dumpling every Sunday. Did you know that? I'll be back next month. Life goes on. You'll have to show me how you make your dumplings when I get back. You'll have to show me what she likes. Yeah, you never did meet a, a girl whose hair I used to braid. That was it when your mama met her. Dad. Paul Cole and took a hold of your mama and she didn't know which way was up. He had just graduated and, and got a chance out in, in Los Angeles to try out for this year team. He left. All she ever said. He wrote letters. She sent him back on over. She was testing. Yeah, well, neither your daddy nor your mama get a gold star on that. Yeah. <laughs> they wasn't gonna let her march in the college commencement being unmarried and all. She said, what nobody would have stopped. <coughs> I was there when she walked down the aisle with her head held up high on graduation day. I mean, did she? <laughs> yeah, she did. Uh, my mama, my sister. Yeah. I was there when she became a mother. Yeah. Maybe you got her eyes, but you came out looking just like him. Had you been a boy, you would have been handsome, but as a girl, you little homely thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How about you? It turned out all right, come on, look. <laughs> Mama always did know you had potential. Yeah, she said she had God and you, and that was enough. shape. It's gonna burn up in the sun. Get some biscuits. 
While I'm there, I'm gonna stop by the cash machine. I'm gonna get you fixed. Then I'm gonna fix you a plate. You need to eat before you go. You know what she's gonna do with that money. Uh, you don't even know the first thing. Cuz. Look. That way, cuz. She gets to see me a little while longer. Okay? Cuz you know what? I told God. Come home from the hospital. I check myself into the clinic. Check myself in the same day. Everything, everything be all right. She get back. We just gotta, just gotta make it through to them. You not worried? Some days. Shake 
shake you loose. And don't let nothing shake you loose. And don't let nothing shake you loose. Oh, you remember? Uh, oh, I haven't done that since. Shoot. Ooh. 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 I could have been a singer. Gloria. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Everybody thought I'd be the Sunday school teacher of North Life, <laughs> that I would have married Patrick. Oh, oh, Hickory! Hitty Pavel. But I have two children, one riding on each hill. Nah, you would have been up here in your barn, Pat. It's how English lit up the street at Bishop College. It's your phone now. <laughs> when they close that down? Yesterday I drove downtown trying to find the Singleton Bridge. Got all turned around, traveled in circles, trying to find it. Ended up in the middle of what looked like Times Square, looking at Bay Green. <laughs> Finally found the Singleton Bridge, headed back home. Looked out the train with long horns, still to his face. Burn my body. Age of seven, dressed in white, with a kerchief on my head. I was dipped three times in those waters, so stepped out shivering. Cousin Bradford down out there on the deck. They say he swam out there on the deck. They say they rebuilding the Trinity River. The Trinity River project is coming soon. That's been coming for 30 years. <laughs> Trinity River is gone. Trinity ain't going nowhere. Some, right? Some things I don't want to imagine. Yeah. You remember Jack Reynolds? Lived down the street. You remember Jack? I liked him. But you and Jack. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> First time I had a drink. Jack. And you were always trying to keep up with me. Where are you going, Jasmine? Can I come? Yeah, 17 years. Why you didn't invite me to your wedding? You got an invitation. Well, how was I supposed to get to Hawaii? How the hell was I? Funny. Hey. Hey, hey. Well, we come from the same. I should have. should have ran away like you too. You. Gave me my first drink, my 17th birthday. You mad him? Oh, nobody forced me to drink. You mad at me? Uncle Ray Earl. Step down in earth. I, I never thought. I, he, everybody always called me a lie. When I got pregnant, Took you to the place and my fault. I got drunk my 17th birthday. Oh, I took you to the he, place. We we took I care. Can't tell nobody. I never told nobody. Nobody knew your mom. I always wanted to tell her. I never could. You're the lie.
12 years. Look, you got out. You got us far away. I couldn't worry of the need them. I thought I was going to die. I called you. I called mom. I called Jesus. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know nothing about none of all that. That summer, I wrote my first book. He wrote about a girl named Sage. Sage turned on her sister. And life turned on Sage after that. You talking about me? Like you can see my life before I can live it. You write it down like I didn't even have a say. You know. Everybody always called me a lie. What you want me to say? All is dead and gone and we continue on. Right? Right?
came back and you were looking at me, out of your eyes was a woman, a stranger. You never asked. Who do you smell like? I don't have time for this. I, I gotta go and tend to things for tomorrow, Iris. See, Ma? See? The problem is you always test people. But you never let anybody know what you need. And then you always disappointed when nobody can figure it out. You don't know the first thing about what I need. I know. You know what I've decided? I'm not going anywhere. inside me, I was terrified. Something I couldn't control growing inside of me. But I didn't run from it. I planted myself and I said, all right, here we go. And I knew nothing would ever be the same again. I know you can. 
I'm the mama. Yes, ma'am.
like that book you wrote. The one nobody read? Yes. The one about a, a, a black woman on the moon. <laughs> she lives on the moon. She has conversations with dead poets. The moon is so far away. So far away. Distance helps. That ain't really living. She's free. Hmm. You know what? Sometimes you need to dare to close your eyes and just dive off the edge. Either dare to just close them and just dive right into the middle, right into the mess, into the muck, into the mud. The dare is to live, and to live is to grow, is to breathe. Can't do that. Living out on the edge, out on the periphery. There is no air there. I loved him so much. I loved him so much. I just didn't know how. You know, I used to, I used to go and visit folks at that home where Jasmine used to work. Yeah, I used to go and read to them every Tuesday. Going over there and get me my, my powder and uh, get my lipstick and, and bring me that ribbon too. Yeah. You know, that was this one gentleman there named Andrew. He used to like the dad, no, no, he liked the Ellery Queen series. Yeah, I used to read to him. He could always finish and figure out the end of the mystery before I got to the end of the story. Yeah, I'd read him a new one every week. Then we talk about uh, current events and the weather and our children. It was good company. I think he was about 74 years old. He was a handsome man. Never thought about him in any particular way until one day, wasn't nothing he said, nothing he did, just a look. I said to myself, why is he looking at me like that? I thought to myself, now, has he always looked at me like that? And I just didn't pay attention to it. I said, I think Andrew likes me. I think he likes me. Likes me. True be told, I think I liked him too. You know, uh, since I 
I'm not no saint, but certain things, honey, you just don't think about in a certain way anymore. You just don't think about them in a concrete way. Now, there was this young man that used to cut our yard. And I used to watch him cutting our yard. And that was just a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing real about that. No, but Andrew. You know, I hadn't thought about down there in such a long time. <laughs> That might as well have been on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe if I'd have been active, maybe if I'd have been with somebody, maybe I would have saw something earlier. Maybe I would have been able to do something earlier before it got to this point. You know, the next time I said, you know, I, I let, I'm going to invite Andrew out for a root beer float and to the movies. I went in the next week and they told me that Andrew had died in his sleep the night before. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have mysteries. <laughs> we both like mysteries. Here we came for you. church and you you were seven years old my little girl and she used to go to church what was the song about uh, I, I remember. you remember that night I was pressing your head and the, the lightning struck that pan and it was raining and storming real hard and we ran all the way to my mama's house and I, I had to go to work early the next day so I couldn't finish it and grandma grandma Bob finished it you been, Oh, I used to have such long, pretty hair. What was it, Iris? You got your hair red. She put the ribbon in it so you could sing at that BTU meeting that night at church. What was the song? How did it go? How did it go, Iris?
No, no, you go. I'm not letting you go. I'm, I'm just going outside. Don't you go out that door. Done hiding. Done. 
done being a child and I'm done with you. Mama.
Ha <laughs> ha